Hey my lovely TDS, welcome back to the channel. Now there is a lot of information that is being exposed and being put out about the singer Kelani. Now if you guys don't remember, yes in the beginning of this month, her baby daddy slash ex-boyfriend Javen Young White decided to file for full custody of their five-year-old daughter Adia because he claimed that Kalani was in a cult and Kalani was trying to put their daughter in this cult as well he was worried about the safety and well-being of their daughter and he wasn't able to see their daughter he was saying that Kalani was holding him back and her team was helping her hold him back from seeing their daughter and he was very concerned now even though recently he has spoken out and he said that he regrets this information being released to social media. I mean, he decided to expose more text messages and information just yesterday between him and Kalani. Now, before we get into that I want to get into this information real quick did you guys even know that Kalani was married and divorced within two months of the beginning of this year yes the woman that Kalani was married to briefly was named Marielle her name is Marielle excuse me and the reason why in these court documents she decided to divorce Kalani is crazy it says one adultery so she's claiming that Kalani had cheated on her I guess she found out in some way and she also says and Kalani is the defendant as you can see defendant was dishonest about her choice and her state of mind defendant claims that she agreed while she was insane okay so Kalani was claiming insanity also get into this it says defendants mental disorder made her believe that she was a character that she made up I'm like hold up this is wild anyways I got the video here of this woman explaining it in the court documents let's go ahead and get into it Kalani got married and divorced within two months earlier this year because I missed that one but I do have the court documents so let's dive in and you'll see this could be relevant to the custody case. So just a little quick background this is Marielle Gomerez who is ANR at Parkwood Entertainment, Beyonce's management company. If you're not familiar ANR people they'll typically like find new talent, sign artists and then they like oversee albums that are being made. So Marielle worked on Renaissance and Cowboy Carter. And word on the street is, Marielle also worked a little bit on Crash, Kelani's album. And a little bit more backstory, Kelani was signed to Rock Nation this year. The earliest posting I could find was from May 3rd, that it was announced that they had signed with Rock Nation. And then here's where shit gets weird. And before I get into this document, I am just going to preface it with this document was handwritten and submitted by Marielle to the court to get an annulment. Not much on this page to note except for the fact that they were married April 20, 2024 in Vegas, and that is when Kelani was shooting the After Hours like music video, I believe. You can see right next to me on this line, Marielle filled out this document on June 16, 2024, so not even two months later, and was not requesting any alimony. There's a bunch of different reasons you can file for an annulment, that's pretty much most of this page, and Marielle chose plaintiff, Marielle, lacked understanding of her actions to the extent that she was incapable of agreeing to the marriage because, and then had to provide a long form answer. So plaintiff in this is Marielle, defendant is Kelani. I'm just going to say their names when I read it. Marielle agreed to marriage with the impression that both Marielle and Kelani loved each other. Marielle was unaware that Kelani's intention was to benefit their career. The marriage was done with the intention of promoting Kelani's upcoming album set to release June 21, 2024. That's obviously the Crash album. Marielle also marked a second reason for annulment and that was that her consent to the marriage was obtained by fraud. Another long-form answer, she said, Kelani was dishonest about her choice and state of mind. 
Kailani claims she agreed while she was insane Kailani's mental disorder made her believe she was a character she made up Marielle believes Kailani was method acting Kailani has since then committed adultery so but good news neither of them's pregnant now this is what I mean when I say that there's so much information that is being released about Kailani through her exes through her baby daddy because I mean even her baby daddy was claiming within these text messages that there's other exes like her ex Kira which I thought that they were still together this is how you guys know I really don't keep up with Kalani stuff but I thought that her and Kira were still together because I thought that they were such a beautiful couple but Kira also claimed that Kalani cheated on her as well so it's like Kalani has this pattern allegedly of her cheating on her exes anyways let's go ahead and get back into what her baby daddy decided to expose just yesterday yesterday he decided to expose some personal text messages not only between him and Kalani but between him and Kalani's exes and some other people who know Kalani as well who's speaking out and saying yes she's not the greatest person unfortunately let's go ahead and get into what's said now obviously he is in the blue Kalani is in the gray and then she's like Javen call me now like ASAP emergency I keep trying to call and it's going to voicemail and this is what he writes and says on his insta story he says Kalani busted through her own door and is framing her abuse as mine I have more this is why I keep a paper trial sad that she's resorting to lying um he also said that I begged you to leave me alone I begged you that I didn't want to speak to you I ran from your room into the back house you followed me and then barged through the door I asked you repeatedly that I did not want to talk to you you said you have to speak to your co-parent I ran into the bathroom I said no I don't please stop I said please leave me alone because I knew what you were about to do I said that I'm packing you kept coming you wanted us to be homeless in the morning okay then he said I caught off contact with her last month because of her abuse and how she alleges abuse when she is scared so yes Kalani did decide to respond her and her attorney decided to respond and say that hey Javen was the one who was doing stuff to me and that's why I'm keeping him away from me and our daughter because I'm scared for my safety anyways. He also exposed this text message that he sent Kalani he said I've decided I am never speaking to you privately ever again I'm asking to set up communication with ADEA completely separate from any direct communication with you that's a liability to my safety because we know your lying ability we know what you lied about down to the little burner accounts don't care to rehash that's a you thing and everything that you claim I lie about I have a hundred percent physical proof of I'll take all of her scheduling updates at my email there's no reason to speak with my fatherly rights I'll be having someone contact her school directly for all updates about her I'm asking to go no contact with you specifically because I recognize the real pattern of different forms of abuse since I was 20 years old freshly homeless fleeing another dangerous situation to your couch at say Cramery Avenue you confidently and conveniently always leave that part out then he didn't post the rest of the text message. This is the part where he decides to post text messages between him and Kalani's ex Kira now I thought Kalani like I said Kalani and Kira were still together beautiful couple love them together and I believe she made the baby is the everything for me song about her you guys can correct me if I'm wrong but this was around the time that these two were dating I didn't know that allegedly Kalani cheated on her as well and that's the reason why these two are no longer in a relationship so Kalani moves on into this new relationship with Muriel and then gets married to her and then these two have to get divorced guess what because allegedly Kalani cheated on her as well allegedly okay this is wild anyway so this is Kiki and he said the blurred out name is a person that gave her the closure that she needed she texted Javen and she said yo I just talked to blank I pray that this girl gets what she deserves she's hurt way too many good people and she needs to be held accountable for everything whatever we have to do yeah i'm sorry i know that it's rough to hear it all at the same time as it is enlightening yeah she's trying to be as her way through all of this but i genuinely don't think that it'll work she left a bad mark on too many people
Not saying that they will but stand your ground if her or any of those people around her try to come in and manipulate you stay calm because they like to provoke people okay and then he said meanwhile I've spoken to Kira I know the truth of what they did to that girl it's sad I don't care if they silence her they won't do it to me so basically he's saying that they silence her ex Kira about speaking out about everything that Kalani has done and I think that's why so many people didn't really. No when these two were over now granted Kalani's fans her fan pages of course they're going to keep up with that type of information but other people of course wouldn't know because allegedly they're saying that Kalani and her team silenced her exes from them speaking out against her anyways allegedly okay anyways he also wrote and he said when she cheated on her last girlfriend Kiara she alleged that the person that she was cheating with raped her Kiara later found out that that wasn't true. She alleges R.A.P.E. and A.B.U.S.E. when she has nothing else to cling to so that is while Javen is basically saying hey Kalani likes to cheat on her exes but then she'll make the excuse when she's caught and say that she was R.A.P.E. that's wild okay like I said this information is getting crazy we can't say that Javen is not telling the truth on some spectrum, even though it just doesn't seem like, to the public eye, it doesn't seem like Kalani is insane or anything. But the crazy thing is Kelani did claim insanity on the reason why she decided to get married earlier this year, right, and I don't think this part is necessarily important, but if you guys want to read it, I'll leave it here. But I'm going to skip past this text message so now this is between him and Kalani once again he said I'm giving you a chance to retract your statement before I post everything she said I'm calling you I was in rehearsal I can retract I've been in 6 hour rehearsal okay so she's telling him that she can retract I don't know if she meant to say I can't retract but she said that I can retract. I don't know if she meant to say I can't retract, but she said that I can retract. So I'm wondering why he decided to still post everything. Anyways, he said that she lied for public favor and all y'all who claim to be her friend need to get off trying to paint me any type of way for her and go tell her to quit lying, man. It's not good for the spirit. It's real layers to the audacity of lies here she okay he said I've been lied on and manipulated for years straight and it's finally coming to an end and I'm glad that it's out in the open for everyone to see piece by piece what it looked like I have evidence from everything I have always forgiven and come back around because otherwise my daughter is weaponized against me she takes care of all of her friends who live off her I was only ever around for my daughter the moment that I tried to leave for good I was retaliated against with V and anti-blackness I ran from this lady multiple times in my life for good reason okay now this is some text messages between him and Shauna not really sure who that is but that could be one of Kalani's exes as well this person said I don't know if you got my number saved still but I'm proud of you bro I truly do pray everything happens as it should I'm happy the tape has been removed silence is no longer an option proud of you for real for years it felt like things that I would say went in one ear and out the other about my situation and you exposing your truth has brought so much light towards my truth and I am just grateful to say the least people now see that I never lied thank you for your strength and standing up and he said same mind blowing crazy ish on everyone she's ever been with man so that's what makes me believe that yes this is one of her exes as well I'm just the first to admit it and I guess Shayna's story didn't really blow up I guess this is what she's saying like nobody really ever listened to her people are definitely tuning into Javen and I guess this is what people say when they say look the truth always comes to the light even if it's one person or two people who spoke out and their story didn't get enough recognition and it didn't blow up. Of course, somebody's story is going to blow up and get on the blogs, okay now. Kalani also claimed that she was fearing for her life within her situation with her baby daddy. And that's why she hasn't really been around and letting her daughter be around. And he was like, fearing for your life, but I ask not to be anywhere near you. Liar, liar, pay.
pants on fire bad okay um now this is also a text message that I don't think is necessarily important but he said everybody talking about money laughing my off I regularly ask for any money spent on me to be recorded I can expunge it ms use money to control me and simultaneously weaponize it against me like that's what I want I was there for my daughter not money whenever she decided simultaneously weaponize it against me like that's what I want I was there for my daughter not money whenever she decided to weaponize my relationship with my daughter against me I go through this and he says what's fd up anytime that lady really needed me I'm there regardless of what has been done to me because I care about my baby girl more than anything in this world and he shows that Kalani this was in December she said I haven't stopped moving in eight months and I'm really terrified for my level of burnout and he said well break time and then that's when she was like how are you guys and he was like good slept through all the new year stuff lol and then she said happy new year thank you for being such an incredible family member and father i can't wait to see how we keep leveling up our family and our commitment to it thank you for giving me the opportunity to rest recharge and restore right now it means more than you know always here for you to do just the same now this is basically another text message of kalani thanking him for being a great father he said no Comment um but this was on Father's Day so that's what Kalani's baby daddy Chavun had to expose about Kalani just yesterday personal text messages and he warned and he said look if I don't get to see my daughter if we can't work something out and he doesn't even want to talk to Kalani at this point he said that he was going to be exposing everything and he decided to expose everything about Kalani but it's not really only Kalani I mean there's other people and her exes maybe Kalani is just not ready for a personal relationship yet and that's okay there's no judgment there but I think this is surprising for everybody to be coming out at the same time her ex is her baby daddy to be like hey Kalani got something going on okay and she might need some help with that I don't know I mean I guess the pressure of being on the road and being an artist and at first I really didn't know what to think because what baby mama and baby daddy drama as I said in my last video it could either be one of the two things either baby daddy baby mama is bitter at some point or maybe they're really not being able to see their child but with this situation definitely does seem like Javen has a lot of love of course for his child has it a DEA and he wants to make sure that she's safe and he's not completely sure if she is safe being around Kalani and Kalani's team okay but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section wild information crazy information once again thank you for watching room for t see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night know what y'all think about this in the comment section wild information crazy information once again thank you for watching room for t see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night